Hey guys, it's Jordy Builds. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be working on this first generation MX350. We're going to be going from the stock drum brake to this new disc brake. So let's jump right into the install. First thing we're going to do to do this disc brake swap is get all of the stock brake components off of this bike first. So we're going to go ahead and take the wheel off and then take the brake line, brake handle, and the brake drum off. And we will go from there. Now that we got the rear wheel off, we're gonna go ahead and take this brake drum off. In order to do that, I'm gonna heat this up with a blowtorch right here because this is on here really well. And then we are gonna go ahead and stick this entire drum in a vise and then turn the wheel to take it off. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, just like that. And as you can see here, this is where we will thread on our disc brake adapter. All right guys, now that we got this done, we are gonna go ahead and work on installing the Matrix brake caliper adapter. We are gonna go ahead and get this installed, show you guys how to get that on, and then we will figure out what rotor we're gonna run. So you can see the sticker here, this is the Matrix brand caliper adapter. I will leave information on how to get one of these down below, and I will also leave links to everything else that I use in this video. So be sure to check the description for that. Guys, I'm gonna show you how to assemble the caliper adapter. So you're gonna have this metal bracket, this metal bracket, this metal bracket, these two spacers, two bolts, two nuts, and various couple washers here. So first thing we're gonna do is take your oval piece and take your bolt. We're gonna go washer and through the piece. Set that down and repeat it. Do that again. And now we're gonna take our spacers Put a spacer on each one. We are going to take this piece here and it is going to sit on the swing arm like this. So we're gonna go ahead and put the bottom piece on with a washer and a nut. And you may have to space out your brackets a little bit different every bike is going to be slightly different tolerances so we'll go ahead and get that slightly snug on there so now you'll be able to swing this up put your bolt through and put the nut on so now that we have the first piece of our bracket we're going to go ahead and slide it on here slide it down and flip it up go ahead and run our top bolt through and then i am taking three of the included washers to put on the back side of the top bolt. I'll show you guys what that looks like. So we got three washers here. This sits on the bottom piece here. Then we are going to slide on our caliper mount, just like that. And then we can put a spacer and nut on the bolt. So now this will sit like so and your axle will go through this hole here. So I'm going to be attempting to use this rotor with this zoom brake that I already have. So first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of Loctite on here and then go ahead and throw this on the wheel. There we go. All right, that's pretty tight. So let's go ahead and get the axle in and see if we can get it up and mounted. As you guys can see, we got the adapter on there nice and snug. So now I wanted to go over the axle spacing as it took me quite a while to figure out. So this is going to be your chain side. You're gonna have one spacer over here. This is all stock. So your swing arm will go right in between here. And then on this side, obviously you used to have your drum brake over here and everything. So the spacing that I have figured out is washer and nut on the outside of the swing arm, one washer in between the adapter and the swing arm itself, like so, this small washer, this big washer, and then this big spacer. 
So that is the best way that I figured out. So we're gonna go ahead and get the wheel mounted on there and then we will show you guys what that looks like. So we're mocking up the caliper here. Uh, I had to get longer bolts as well as I had to space out the actual caliper bracket itself and get it closer to the rotor. That way it fits right over the rotor. I talked with Matt and he is going to start including these longer bolts as well as spacers just in case you run into this issue. Uh, there is a couple of different brake options that you could run. Um, so you may or may not have to do this. So just wanted to throw that in there. Matt's a really good guy and uh, definitely would suggest ordering from him. He also makes these adapters for the newer generation MX 350s as well. I'll leave all the info for him in the description below and let's move on with the caliper. Just for reference though, the spacers are 0.36 inches and the bolts that I got are M6 by 25. So this is what it looks like with everything mounted up. It looks really good. Got a little loop up here in the plastics so you can't see it. Handle looks good. So let's go for a little test ride. All right, I'm gonna set you guys up so you can see how good this thing can stop. It is quite cold outside, so we're not gonna go riding around. Just gonna try to show you guys how, uh, how quick this thing stops now. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe and all the information for everything I installed today and other parts will be listed down in the description. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.